Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to shout out our sponsor, GeekNations.net. That's G-E-E-K-N-A-T-I-O-N-S.net for sponsoring this video and for giving us one of the coolest sites to cop the latest anime figurines, clothes, and gaming equipment. Go check them out. They have everything for the Lolo. And trust me, it's affordable. And if you're watching this video, I know you're definitely going to like some of the stuff they have to offer. From Naruto hoodies, phone cases, headbands, wristbands, figurines. Man, they got it all. So go visit www.geeknations.net and let them know your boy sent you. one and only and only one flea boy jetson welcome back to the channel and if you're tuning in for the first time don't forget to like comment and subscribe wow now in today's video i'm gonna put you on to what i feel like is the best attack build for combat and flag battle now do keep in mind these are my personal thoughts and opinions and if you feel like yours is better than mine Comment below, I might give it a shot and shout you out in the next video. With all that out the way, let's get to it. Up first is a fan favorite, the copy ninja, Kakashi. Now, I'm going to be a little biased on this one because he's definitely one of my favorite characters in the franchise. So I'm taking both his shotting gun and his lightning blade. I'll explain why, but let's keep it rolling to the next VR master. The next VR master needs no introduction. Yeah, we talking about pain, and what we taking from this legend is his secret technique, his planetary devastation. Now that we got that out the way, let's continue on to the next VR Master. And our final VR Master is the lead village, 4th Hokage, aka the Yellow Flash, Minato. And from him, we gonna take his flying Raijin Jitsu. It's a very important Jitsu to have, and in order to unlock this DLC character, he must be purchased from the store. He's only $3.99, but he comes with multiple accessories, and in my opinion, his Jitsu's make him worth the purchase. Now let's head over to Sakura and put this attack build together. Alright, the first build we're going to put together will be the flag battle build. Now the road type we're going to use will be attack, the weapon, claws, the ninja tools, kunai, the costume. You want to choose something that's going to give you a little perks during your match. Accessories will be a fox mask. The first jitsu we're going to choose will be lightning blade. Not mostly for the attack, but mostly to get around the mat. The second jitsu will be the flying raijin jitsu. The substitution, clay clone. And the secret technique is planetary devastation. Now the only thing we're going to change on the attack build for combat, we're going to take out the flying Raijin Jitsu and throw in that shotting gun. Now that we put together the build, let's put in the work. In this clip, I'm going to stop the whole team from turning in our flag and win us the game. And this is the reason why I chose the secret technique, Planetary Devastation, because I could wipe out the whole team with just one move. Now in this clip, I'm going to show you why Flying Raijin and Lightning Blade is so important in flag battle. As you can see, I'm going to the highest top I could find, and I'm going to Lightning Blade as far as I can until I touch down on the flag, and I'm going to teleport right back to where I placed my Flying Raijin, and then lightning blade right back to my flag and win us the game. In this clip, I'm going to put the shotting gun and lightning blade to use. I'm going to use the shotting gun as an extra substitution and I'm going to use the lightning blade to quickly cut down my opponents. Also, the lightning blade is good for getting to your healer in case he's too far to reach or getting to the scrolls before the enemy does. And I put the claws on because I love the combos. And the kunans is to attack from far when you're unable to reach your opponent. And of course, you gotta end the match in a sick way. And what's sicker than a planetary devastation? Don't forget to check out this video if you missed it on the left. And on the right is my upcoming video 
best range build. Until next time, I'm out.